students welcome back to asium college karad we were discussing about the first chapter in chemistry that is solid state students up till now we have completed almost one third part of this chapter in that we have studied the different kinds of solids different types of crystalline solids unit cell seven crystal systems and 14 brevis lattices we have studied the different kinds of arrangements in different kinds of unit cells we have seen that how the particles are arranged in the simple cubic unit cell body centered face centered and end or base centered unit cell now the study of arrangement of that particles in that four kinds of unit cells was very simple because we know that unit cell is the smallest portion of the whole crystal lattice in the unit cell or in the crystal lattice we know that the particles are arranged in three dimensional order now today we will study the arrangement of particles in a whole crystal lattice now see this arrangement of particles in the crystal lattice is little difficult but i will make it easy i will try to make it easy so that it can easily studied by you for that purpose you must have a good visualization power and though if you have not that power then i will give you one example now we know that during the formation of crystals the constituent particles are arranged in three dimensional order that is the particles are very close to each other due to strong forces of attraction and that constituent particles are nothing but either atoms ions and molecules there is a closest packing of that particles in the crystal and therefore we will study the closest packing of that particles in the crystal lattice now what is meant by closest packing first see the closest packing of the particles in the lattice means the arrangement of that particles in such a way that the particles will occupy the maximum available space and they will reduce the empty space to minimum the particles should be arranged in such a way that most of the available space in the crystal lattice should be occupied by the particles and there should be a minimum empty space or vacant space now we know that the constituent particles are either atoms ions or molecules and they are of different kind or different size so the mode of arrangement of that particles in the crystal lattice will be different on the basis of size and shape of that particles but to make our study easy we will take here all the particles as of same size and same shape we will take the spherical particles of same size now in order to study the arrangement of that particles in the crystal lattice again i will give you one task what is that task it is very simple now take one box the box should be you know that box is three dimensional and arrange the spherical balls in that box we know that the balls are spherical in shape they should be of same size now there are different ways of arrangement of that balls in the box but what is the condition there should be a maximum space which is occupied by that balls and there should be a minimum empty space now following this when following this condition you can arrange these balls in different ways you try to arrange that balls 
in different ways at home now you will observe the different modes of arrangement of that balls in the box in the same manner here today we will arrange the constituent particles in the crystal lattice now there are three stages by which we can arrange these particles in the crystal lattice in three dimensions there are three stages or three steps now let us see the first thing in the first step you have to arrange that spheres or particles in one dimension so the first step is in this manner we will arrange the particles which are touching with each other in a single row that is along any one of the axis either x y or z and that's why this packing is named as closest packing in one dimension or it is also called as a linear packing greater the value of coordination number greater will be the compactness of that spheres means the spheres will be more close to each other now we have to do the most efficient packing of that spheres in the crystal lattice see the second step of this arrangement packing in the second step we have to pack that spheres in two dimensional two dimensions so the second step is closest packing in two dimensions now how this packing is done see for that purpose i will take the initial one dimensional row of arrangement of particles this is a first layer of the arrangement of particles where the particles are arranged in one dimension now consider this row as of a time okay now 
we have to arrange the particles in two dimensions means again you have to arrange the particles over this row now there are two ways of arrangement of particles over this row let us see the first way here what will you do you will arrange the particles exactly above the particles in the first layer this is a second layer now this second layer is similar to the first layer so we will name it again as a a layer now the third layer third layer should be again same as that of the first layer or second layer in this manner we will arrange all the spheres one above the other the sphere the spheres are arranged vertically as well as horizontally in two dimensions along x axis and along y axis now see the coordination number of any sphere in this arrangement now i will consider this sphere now it will touch to how many other spheres let's see it is touching to this sphere it also touches to this sphere this one and this one so this single sphere will touch to these four spheres so what will be the coordination number in this arrangement it should be 4 now if you connect the centers of all these spheres what will you observe you will get here a square and therefore this arrangement is also called as a square closed packing square for closed packing in two dimensions this is one of the way of arrangement of particles in two dimensions now i will show that arrangement consider the single row as this one now above this row i will arrange the particles or i will arrange the second row in such a manner that the particles of the second row should lie exactly above the first row right you will observe here the particles are lying just above the first row third row is same as that of the first row right in this manner you will continue this arrangement and this arrangement is called as a a a a type of arrangement because all the rows are of same kind same type a a a so this closest packing in two dimension is done by the first way which is named as square closed packing in two dimension or it is also named as A A A A type of arrangement. Now let us see the second way of arrangement of these particles in two dimensions. Now think how will you arrange the particles one above the other? I will show that. suppose this is a first layer and we have labeled this layer as a type now if you observe this first row there are some depressions in this row see these are the depressions or they are also named as troughs now you have to arrange the second row 
in the depressions of the first row. Let's see how the spheres of the second layer are arranged. In this depression, now I will arrange the next sphere. In this depression, I will arrange this sphere. All these spheres are touching with each other. So this is a second way or second layer in this arrangement. Now this second layer is lying in the depressions of this first layer. So this is not of same kind that is of A kind but we will label it as B. The arrangement is little different so it is labeled as B. Now place or stack the third layer above this second layer. Now how it is stacked? Let's see. Again you stack the first third layer on in the depressions of the second layer. What will you observe here? This arrangement, the third layer of the particles is same as that of the first layer. The particles are lying just above the first layer and therefore this arrangement will be same as that of A layer and therefore label it again as A. Now again arrange the fourth layer above this third layer where the particles are arranged in the depressions of this third layer. See here, I have arranged the particles in the depressions of the third layer. Again you will observe that all these particles are lying just above the second layer. Right? And therefore, we will label this layer as a B layer. So what is the kind of arrangement here? It will be labeled as ABAB -A -B type of arrangement. Or this arrangement is also called as hexagonal close bracket. Observe here this particle, this one, this one, this one and this one. How many particles are touching to this sphere? Six. So what will be the coordination number? It will be six. Coordination number of the spheres in this type of arrangement is six. Now if you connect the centers of all these neighboring spheres, you will obtain a regular hexagon like this. Hexagon is obtained and that's why this packing is named as hexagonal closed packing in two dimension. Now, we have to arrange the particles in three dimensions. And this is little difficult, but we will see that. Now see or observe again the two-dimensional arrangement of the particles. The first way of arrangement of the particles is named as AAAA type of arrangement, where the particles of the first layer are lying just above the particles in the second layer. All the layers are of same kind and therefore it is named as AAA type of arrangement. Coordination number of the sphere is 4. 
here a square is obtained by connecting the neighboring spheres the centers of the neighboring spheres and therefore it is also known as square closed packing now see the next type of arrangement in two dimensions ABAB type of arrangement here in this arrangement we have initially arranged the first layer which is of A type then in the depressions of this first layer we have arranged the particles which are showing the second layer this second layer is little different and therefore it is named as B type now in the third layer we have arranged the particles in the depressions of first layers and therefore it is again of same type that is A if we arrange the particles in the depressions of third layer again we will obtain the B layer same type of layer and that's why the arrangement is named as ABAB type of arrangement and the coordination number of the particles is 6 while connecting the centers of these particles we obtain the hexagon now let's see that ABAB type of arrangement now consider this is a first layer you will observe here the depressions of this first layer or you can observe the depressions here see this one is the depression right and in these depressions now I have arranged the spheres of the second layer again see the third layer where the spheres are lying just above the spheres of first layer right and that's why this layer third layer will be named as A type second layer is named as B type again the fourth layer is of same kind as that of A the sphere sorry B the spheres are lying just above the particles in the B layer so this arrangement is called as ABAB type of arrangement now you observe the empty space in the first type of arrangement let's see that empty space this space is empty right this space has a square structure and if you observe both of these two arrangements here again the empty space is there right and it is having a triangular structure now by observing these two empty spaces uh, empty spaces in these two arrangements what will you observe in the first kind of arrangement there is a bigger empty space while in the second type of arrangement the empty space has been reduced so we can say that this second type of arrangement is more efficient than the first type of arrangement here you will observe that 52.4 percent of the available space is occupied by the spheres in the AAAA type of arrangement while here in the ABAB type of arrangement 60.5 percent of the available space is occupied by the spheres maximum available space is occupied in this type of arrangement now here we have arranged the particles in two dimensions now in the third step we have to arrange that particles in three dimensions now let us see close packing in three dimensions third step have to arrange the spheres in three dimensions 
and while packing that spheres in three dimensions we have to use these two ways of arrangement of particles in two dimensions now this will give rise to three kinds of crystal systems one is simple cubic crystal the another one is named as hexagonal close packed structure and the third one which is labeled as face centered cubic crystal structure now we will get three kinds of crystal structures and let's see how they are obtained here initially we will use this type of arrangement a a a a type of arrangement so that we will get the simple cubic crystal structure stacking of so let us see the first way of stacking a a a a type two dimensional arrangement now here i will take the two dimensional arrangement this arrangement is of a a a a type this is a two dimensional arrangement now what we have to do we have to stack the second layer of two dimensional arrangement above this first or initial two dimensional arrangement so this first layer is of a a a a type we will take the first layer which is of a a a a type arrangement take second layer which is also of a a a a type and stack that second layer or just exactly above the first layer what will happen i will try to show the spheres of the second layer are just in line above the spheres of the first layer and in this manner you can continue the arrangement again you can arrange the third layer over the second layer where the spheres are lying just above the spheres of first layer or second layer in this manner so the third layer is of same kind that is of a a a a type of arrangement of particles in two dimension the fourth layer will be again of same kind that is a a a a a, a type of two dimensional arrangement here what we have done we have arranged all the square close packed layers in two dimension just one above the other so that the particles will lie one above the other so for our convenience now i will label all these layers as a type a a a, a type of arrangement so label it as a type again this arrangement label is label as a again the same a a so this type of arrangement is called as a a a a type of arrangement in three dimensions remember well a a a a type of arrangement in three dimensions where we have used a a a a type of arrangements in two dimensions now let's see 
the coordination number of spheres in this arrangement. Consider this sphere. You will easily observe that this sphere is touching to the four spheres in the plane, in its own plane. But one sphere is just above this sphere because the arrangement is three dimensional and one sphere will lie below this sphere. So actually this sphere will touch to other six spheres and that's why the coordination number of the spheres in this arrangement is six. Now let's see the second way of arrangement of the spheres. Here we have to stack AB AB type of arrangements in two dimensions. We have to use this hexagonal close pattern. Now, in this arrangement, initially, you have to take the first layer. Which is of AB, AB type. Two dimensional arrangement. That is, you take the spheres in this arrangement. They will indicate the first layer. Now, the second layer will be arranged just above this first layer and it should be arranged in such a manner that in the depressions or in the empty space of this first layer you will arrange the spheres. Now see I will show here, here I have taken AB AB type of arrangement of the spheres, now up here Again I have taken the another AB AB layer that is two dimensional structure of arrangement. Now I will arrange the spheres of the second layer above the spheres of the first layer in such a way that the depressions, see here depressions means empty spaces. You will observe in between these spheres the empty space is here. Right? Again you will observe the empty space here. Now in these empty spaces you have to fit the second layer in this manner. See, the particles are not lying just above the particles of the first layer but they are lying in between the particles. See, here you will observe that the particles of the second layer have been fitted in the depressions of the first layer. So this arrangement is little different. It is again of AB AB type of arrangement but we will label it as B type. So if this arrangement is labeled as A type of arrangement and if this arrangement is labeled as B type of arrangement, now we have to arrange a third layer upon the second layer. See how that third layer is stacked over the second layer. Here I will show that arrangement. Again I have taken AB AB type of two dimensional arrangement and I will arrange that spheres in such a manner that Again, you will observe here, the spheres are lying just above the spheres of the first layer. See, this sphere and this sphere. All these spheres are lying one above the other, right? So, this third layer is of same kind that of first layer. And that's why I will label that layer again as A type. Okay? Now again arrange the spheres in the fourth layer. 
what will I do? Here, I will take the fourth layer of spheres and arrange them in this manner. What do you observe here? Again, the particles are lying just above the particles in the second layer. See, this sphere and this sphere. They are just lying one above the other. So, this layer is of same kind of the second layer and that's why I will label it as a B layer. See, how the arrangement is obtained? A, B, then again A, B. You can continue this arrangement and that's why we will name it as A, B, A, B type of arrangement. Okay? This is a three dimensional arrangement and to make this three dimensional arrangement we have used A, B, A, B type of arrangement of particles in two dimensions. By arranging the particles in this way we get a hexagonal closed part structure. And therefore it is called as hexagonal closed packing of arrangement. This is one of the way of arrangement of particles in three dimensions where we have used AB, AB type of two dimensional arrangement. Now let us see the second type, second way of arrangement of the particles where how the layers are stacked one above the other. Now for that purpose again I will take the first layer which is of A type that is initially I will take AB, AB type of arrangement just like this. Now I will arrange the particles in the second layer which are again of B type. I will arrange the particles in the depressions or empty spaces of the first layer. See. In the same manner as we have seen in this arrangement. Right? You will observe that all the empty spaces of the first layer are not occupied by the second layer. Now, the third layer should be arranged in such a way that the particles or empty spaces in the second layer or first layer, they should be filled by the particles of the third layer. See, here. I will show it by using this. You will observe. I think you may observe some of the spaces which are vacant, and in these vacant spaces, I have I am arranging this third layer. Okay. So this third layer is little different, and that's why it is named as C type of arrangement. What we have done here in this type of arrangement, we have arranged the third layer in the depressions or empty spaces which are remained in by arranging these two layers. So this is of C type. Now again arrange the fourth layer. You will observe that if you arrange the fourth layer, it will be again same as that of the first layer, right? See, the spheres are lying just one above the other. Means this fourth layer is of same kind that of A. So, what will be the name of this packing? ABC, ABC type of addition. When we arrange the particles in this manner, here you will get a cubic close packing or it is also named as a face center close packing. It 
is named as FCC or cubic cruise packet means CC CCP. The meaning is same. In this way, we have obtained the different kinds of arrangements of particles in three dimension. Now, see the coordination number of particles in these two dimensions. Here, if you observe the first kind of arrangement, the coordination number of the particles is 12. That is, every sphere will touch to other 12 spheres. How that spheres are touching? See, if I take the first layer, you can observe here, this sphere is touching to the any to other six spheres, right? That is six, six spheres are lying in this plane. Now above this, I have arranged the second layer in this manner. I will make it easier then. I will arrange only these three spheres, right? Now these three spheres are touching to this sphere, right? These spheres are lying above the plane. In the same manner, you will observe the three, three, three spheres lying below the plane. So, how many spheres are touching to this sphere? Total 12. 6 lying in the plane, 3 above the plane and 3 lying below the plane. Therefore, the coordination number is 12. In this type of arrangement, again, you will observe the coordination number as 12. The same type of arrangement. Six spheres will touch to each other in a single plane. Three will lie above the plane of that sphere and three will lie below the plane. So, now see, these two are the most efficient packings in three dimensions. Why? Because you will observe most of the available space in the lattice is occupied by arranging the spheres in this manner. Here the occupied space is 74%. In this type of arrangement also you will get 74% of the occupied space. Means the empty space is reduced here. Now in cubic close packing we have seen the coordination number at 6. Now let us see in which matters this three dimensional arrangement is observed. And only one matter named as polonium is showing such type of arrangement, AAAA type of three dimensional arrangement. Here the metals which are showing ABAB type of arrangements are magnesium and zinc and ABC ABC type of arrangement is observed in the metals like copper, silver, etc. So I think you may got here the three steps of arrangement of particles in three dimensions. Again remember well by using AAA type of arrangement in three dimensions we are getting cubic close packing simple cubic structure by using ABC, ABAB type of arrangement we get hexagonal close packing structure while by arranging the particles in ABC, ABC manner we are getting face centered cubic structure. Now in the next lecture we will see what is meant by wires. Thank you.